Hi there, this is Dr. Shaw from Shaw Aesthetic Surgery. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 qualities you want to look for when trying to choose a plastic surgeon. Make sure you uh, watch this entire video because there's a lot of great information contained herein. It takes a long time to train to be a plastic surgeon. At the end of your training, you, sh you will sit down for a long set of exams uh, to uh, test your, both your practical and your academic knowledge. Board certification by the American Board of Plastic Surgeons ensures that your surgeon is well trained in both uh, types of procedure, uh, safety of procedure, and recovery from procedure, along with how to handle any and all complications. Membership in various plastic surgical societies indicates that your surgeon is up to date on the most advanced procedures available to you, the consumer. It's important for consumers to ask questions about the experience of their plastic surgeon. You want to make sure that your surgeon's good in the type of procedure that you're coming to consult about. Um, it is important to take a look at their before and after galleries, but understand before and after galleries show patients uh, that are not necessarily going to be like you and who are not going to heal like you. So make sure that you have a realistic expectation for the outcomes of your surgery, but make sure that your surgeons got the experience that you're looking for. You need to make sure that you ask your surgeon whether they operate only in the office or in accredited surgical facilities. Accredited surgical facilities include hospitals, outpatient surgery centers, and in some cases, in-office surgery centers that have been verified by third-party organizations. Uh, organizations involved in accreditation include JCO, or the Joint Commission, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, AAAHC, and Quad AHC. These organizations all have high standards for both uh, patient safety and patient outcomes, and you want to make sure that you're not uh, having your procedures in some uh, back office. Um, there are certain conditions in which you can have in-office procedures, but they require what we call level one anesthesia, something like a, a Valium and local anesthesia alone. That happens all the time. It's very safe. But in general, larger cases really need to be performed in accredited facilities. If your surgeon's accredited, uh, then you know you've got the best. Maintenance of hospital privileges is essential to maintenance of certification. Uh, when your surgeon has privileges in various hospital systems around your local area, it indicates they meet uh, appropriate safety and professionalism standards, uh, showing that they run their practices uh, at a very high level. When you're looking into choosing the right plastic surgeon for you, it's important that you get reliable references. Reliable references include your own primary care physician, uh, the references from family and friends, and references coming from third-party ratings and review sites. It's important to understand that you, you need to look for uh, ratings and reviews that show a decent mix of uh, outcomes. Uh, sites that have only five stars for your surgeon may not give you the kind of information you're looking for both the pros and cons of that surgeon's practice. Uh, there should be a good mix of five stars, four stars, and maybe even some one stars uh, to make sure that your surgeon's very attentive to not just the patients that do well, but the patients that are not happy and uh, making sure that they're dealing with these unhappy patients in very constructive and uh, quality ways. When interviewing your plastic surgeon, it's important to uh, pay attention to how thorough they are to both your consultation uh, issues and your perioperative care. Um, you want to make sure that you have enough time when you first meet your plastic surgeon to be able to have all of your questions answered. You also want to make sure they do very thorough examining um, and a discussion of both risks and benefits and realistic expectations you as a patient should have. Uh, education up front really allows for patients to get the best outcomes possible in their particular situation.
I think one of the most important aspects in finding a plastic surgeon that you like is actually developing rapport with that plastic surgeon. It's important to make sure that you feel like you can trust your surgeon to tell them anything and everything necessary to ensure your good care and your good outcome. It's very difficult when patients don't trust their surgeons and keep things out of the conversation that potentially could negatively affect the outcomes for the patient. So finding a, uh, finding a surgeon that you're comfortable with is actually probably the most important thing you can do ultimately, uh, but you wanna make sure that everything else that we talk about in this video, you do pay attention to. When choosing a plastic surgeon, it's, it's important to know what type of follow-up care you're going to be having. Having a surgery and then feeling like you don't ever get to see your plastic surgeon really is an uncomfortable feeling for most patients. Having access to both your surgeon and to his well-trained staff is very important in feeling like you've done the right thing and that you're supported during your uh, post-operative uh, healing recovery period. Make sure that you uh, really get down and understand how the surgeon intends to keep an eye on you and make sure everything is going well with your case. It's, a, it's important to understand how much a procedure is gonna cost. Um, it's okay to call around to various plastic surgeons' offices to get a range of price quotes. Just understand that without a thorough exam, they're not really gonna be able to give you uh, the real quote that you're gonna need to understand how much plastic surgery might cost you. Um, also understand, going with the cheapest price, you may, get, you may get what you pay for, so just be real careful that you've done your homework. Um, your surgeon should be able to stand behind their work and take care of things like minor uh, complications, etc., cetera, um, at both reasonable and sometimes no cost to the patient. So get all this information up front, ask all your questions, and good luck on your hunt for the ideal plastic surgeon.